So today, we have different pillars that we focus on. We have our prosthetics, we have research, and we also help uh, mentor families, and that's really where my heart is. And today, I would love to invite my president of my board, Jenny Sage, Woo! to come up. When I tell you this woman is a mom, a boss, a rock star, a force to be reckoned with is probably an understatement. I have never in my life met a woman with the tenacity and the drive that this woman has. Um, she and her daughter Gracie spent the last year, and I'll, I don't want to cry, spent the last year uh, raising money for Move for Jen, and she joined forces with us. Uh, we became fast friends. I know, we became fast friends. If I would have met Jenny in college in a bar, we would have been best friends. <laughs> But instead we met, unfortunately, through sarcoma. And it's crazy how things like this will bring people into your life that you wish you would have known under different circumstances. And Jenny is one of those people. And so Jenny and Gracie have found a way to redirect their focus when she's going through scans. And thankfully she is in the clear and doing well right now. So everybody. forward and she has done a tremendous job as a mother to teach her daughter to pay it forward unlike any parent I have ever seen in my entire life and they raised $30,000 for move for Jen <laughs> Gracie is 10 years old and this girl has no shame and it's funny because we were talking the other day Andrew and I on my board and he was like yeah Jenny just says well I'm gonna take your money and this is what we're gonna do with it and people say okay so I would love to pass the mic to her so she can talk a little bit about her journey with Gracie and and just a little bit about their story and kind of what she's trying to do. Oh boy. Um, so my why, uh, I'm going to try and do this without crying, which is impossible, but uh, is, sorry, my 11-year-old daughter. So two years ago she was diagnosed with sarcoma. And for those of you that have kids, if you can imagine, um, one, being told that your child has cancer, but two, that there's no known treatment in the world for her cancer because it's so rare, you can imagine how that hits home. Um, thank goodness that we were treated and able to stay local at Levine's. Um, Dr. Pat was on Gracie's tumor board. Um, the good news, she's almost 16, 17 months in remission. To Jen, she's made this not about herself. Um, she has been passionate about giving back to other kids at Levine's um, throughout her whole journey. And over, we raised 30000 last year um, that we're going to share what we're doing with in a minute. But we also raised $10,000 to give back to kids and gift cards who are in the hospital fighting. And that's something that her and I are, are very passionate about. And so we aligned with Jen two years ago because she talks about me being a force. There's no force like this woman and there's also no one who supports people in our community like Jen does. And so we're very fortunate to be able to stay local. And so you guys supporting our foundation means more than you know because we were about 12 hours from having to be treated somewhere differently. So your money goes to local research um, although we give prosthetics to people all over the place, what you guys are contributing to means the world to families like mine and Jen. Um, it's important to be able to stay local. Um, sorry, my heart. It's like, it's hard for me to, to, to talk about this stuff without crying. But um, anyway, we have some exciting news. Do you want to? Yeah. So Dr. Pat and Dr. Jagoski, would you guys come up? We're so excited to have you both here today, and we're so happy to present you with a $30,000 check for a targeted research project that you are currently working on. So thank you for all that you're doing to help us. I'm gonna pass the mic to you, and you can share a little bit about what this project is about. Sure. Thank you guys for having me. Um, my name's Megan, I work up at Levine Cancer Institute, and I'm one of the uh, medical uh, researchers and oncologists up there. 
Um, we are super excited um, to be starting a new trial to try and better classify sarcomas at our institution for our local patients. So basically there's over a hundred subtypes of sarcoma and they're all exceptionally rare. So it makes it very challenging to treat. Um, and unfortunately, even with the best pathologist, only there's about one in four patients that have a sarcoma that can't be fully classified or fully characterized. Um, and that wasn't good enough for us at Levine. So we have a new platform using a technology called methylation where we'll run sarcoma samples through them to see if we can better classify what the disease is that a patient has. And that's huge for the patient, not only for treatment options, um, knowing prognosis, knowing behavioral behaviors of the, of the actual disease. Um, so it's huge and we are so excited to start this trial here. So it happens um, in two parts. First part is to look at samples we've already banked at Levine and test those samples to make sure the technology is up to speed and doing what we need it to do. The second part is to actually test it on patients who are seeing us on the day to day, their new diagnoses. If it can't be classified, we run it through the platform, we give it a name, and then we can better treat their tumor. So we're so excited, we're so thankful for any kind of support from the community. Um, because we're doing big things at Levine and we always need support from, uh, from donors. So thank you so much um, for coming today. I was in the clinic this morning. You guys had a great day out there. I can't imagine the weather it was beautiful. So um, it sounds like it was a great day. Thanks, thanks for having me. I'll, I'll just add one thing. One of the reasons that this particular trial is such a great fit for this funding is that Gracie had one of those sarcomas that 10 years ago didn't really have a name. We would just say it's sort of like Ewing sarcoma and it didn't really have a name. And people, researchers elsewhere who were doing projects like this actually were able to subclassify and it helps lead to better treatment options for these patients. So it's really fun to have, uh, have this coming from, from Gracie's hard work. So.